Coming up on today's episode of Airboard Unlimited. SpaceX test hopper is damaged during a windstorm. Super Bowl will be a no drone zone. And the 2019 Great Yarmouth Air Show is canceled. Welcome to your Monday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. Our top story of the day, SpaceX test hopper was damaged during a Texas windstorm as winds gusting more than 50 miles per hour swept through the launch complex. The high winds blew the upper section of the rocket to the ground where it damaged the nose cone. It was protected from the wind, but it shifted during the night. The prototype was never meant to be launched into orbit, but it is one that the company plans to use as test flights, which will reach 16,400 feet. They also hope to use this one to carry people to Mars. Any test flights will be delayed until the damage is repaired. Coming up after the break, Textron reports strong fourth quarter for aviation business as we take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Textron reports strong fourth quarter for aviation business. The company released their fourth quarter financial statements. They had a strong performance from its airplane business, but a decline from Bell. Textron revenues are up 12% across the jet and commercial turboprop product lines. Last year, they delivered 63 jets and 67 commercial turboprops. Textron Aviation's backlog at the end of the fourth quarter was $1.8 billion, but Bell revenues were $827 million, which is down from the previous year due to lower military volume. Bombardier will acquire a global 7500 aircraft wing program from Triumph Group. The deal will strengthen Bombardier's position as a leading aerostructures manufacturer. It will secure the production ramp-up and long-term success of Bombardier's flagship business jet. The acquired operations will be incorporated into Bombardier's aerostructures and engineering services segment. The EAA is looking for volunteers for the Home Built Aircraft Council. The council represents home builders and provides direction for programs, services, and activities that add value for members who are dreaming of building, buying, and flying home built aircraft. Candidates for the council should be members who are actively engaged in building and flying home builds. The terms are three years and the council meets twice a year in Oshkosh. They hold monthly teleconferences and volunteers need to commit to five hours per month. Back on October 27th, a passenger traveling on a United Airlines flight from Chicago to London has decided to sue the airline for a cover-up. Theodore Leal filed the suit saying he learned about the seriousness of the issue from the pilots flying the plane. The Boeing 767 was diverted to Goose Bay, Canada after a windshield shattered. The airline says that the damage was caused by a bird strike, but Leal says in his suit that the aircraft was flying at 40,000 feet and no birds would have been flying that high. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we come back, this year's Super Bowl will be a no drone zone and the Great Yarmouth Air Show is canceled for 2019.
The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. If you were thinking about flying a drone near the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, maybe to catch a glimpse from above of the Super Bowl activities, you might want to think again. This year, the Super Bowl will be a no drone zone. Bring your face paint, bring your team spirit, but leave your drone at home and make the game safe for everyone. The big game is a no drone zone. The FAA will establish airspace restrictions affecting UAS operations January 31st to February 3rd from 10 a.m. to midnight. Operators who do not comply with the airspace restrictions are warned that pursuant to 18 U.S.C. Section 3056A, 10 U.S.C. Section 130I, and 6 U.S.C. Section 121, the Department of Homeland Security, United States Secret Service, and the Department of Defense may take security action that results in the interference, disruption, seizure, damaging, or destruction of unmanned aircraft deemed to pose a credible safety or security threat to protected personnel, facilities, or assets. UAS operations are authorized within the defined SSI airspace if in compliance with published requirements. The FAA recommends you check NOTAMs often for mandatory airspace restrictions prior to operations in the area. And our final story of the day, the Great Yarmouth Air Show will not be returning in 2019. The inaugural Great Yarmouth Air Show was held last year. The event brought in about 180,000 people and close to $200,000. But the high cost to stage the show was estimated at $950,000. This isn't the first time they've had troubles. Back in 2017, the first show was canceled due to the high cost. Last year, the show featured the UK Precision Flying Team, the Red Arrows. But the team was forced to alter its flight path due to nesting shorebirds. Organizers said last year's event was a success, but the cost was unsustainable. There was no charge for admission to the show, and one commenter on Facebook said that if everyone put a couple of quid in the bucket, it wouldn't be canceled this year. That's all we have time for today. Do you have a story suggestion? If so, send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back on Wednesday for more Airborne Unlimited.